though. What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today, we got some of the craziest beasts on God, bro. Like, I never thought that we were going to be talking about this situation. Because we got the Ghost of Tampon, or my bad. Uh, uh, Ghost of Ghost of Ghost of Yode, right? Ghost of Yode. So we got a Ghost of Yode situation, the the the, the Ghost of Tsushima situation, right? Previously, we had Sweet Babying situation, the Concord, the Dustborn, the King, the Captain, the BBC Samurai situation, the Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft issuing refunds right now. What is going on in gaming? Alyssa Mercante trying to sue fellow YouTubers as she sent out a cease and desist to smash JT. I'm not sure if you heard about it or not. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video because this is gonna get pretty hectic, guys. And if you are into UFO content, paranormal content, conspiracies, yay, the conspiracies, check out the second channel, guys. I'm sure you're gonna love it. But shout out to the homie Rev says, they should roll it. Earlier of Concord, among other things, Sony really needs a win right now. And they're trying to yeah. do that with this recent announcement of an upcoming project, Ghost, Ghost of, of Yote. Yote, which is yeah. presumably a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, mm -hmm. which is a very successful game, one that is used as a comparison point to Assassin's yeah. Creed Shadows. Because and, and I gotta be real, Ghost of Yote trailer looks very, very good. And Ghost of Tsushima is a beloved game. But see, when Ghost of Tsushima came out, journalists and the journalists, they did get mad. They're like, hey, why didn't you add politics in it? Why didn't you do this there? Why didn't you do that there? So they really got mad. Ghost of Tsushima was a very well-researched game, and suckers loved it. People loved it. Gamers loved it. And Assassin's Creed is like a dollar store version in front of that, right? And right now, Ghost of Yoda is revealed. The tampon, the Ghost of Yoda tampon is revealed. And people are mixed by it. Uh, not because there's a female protagonist. Yeah, there's some truths to that, but people are really, really concerned and suspect based off of what has happened in the past. Now, having a female protagonist, guys, that's not woke, okay? Like, come on, females do exist in real life. I right, come on now, okay? That's not woke, okay? We love over beautiful, we love over strong, independent queens out there. We love the queens. Maybe not the strong, independent, we we, but, but we love over independent queens. We love over strong queens but not strong and independent together right maybe or maybe you do and that's perfectly fine though but here's the thing though right like there has been so much crap and so many bad games and so much like activism so many politics and video games that people are just naturally questioning and it doesn't help when you got the actress of a ghost of tampon ghost of yode to actually blocking people you know being racist towards people uh doing all that crap yeah, right, so people are a hell of a suspect right now. Maybe her acting work in the, as an actress would be amazing, and if that's the case, you cannot take that away from her, right? But she's also, like, spewing politics, and gamers are, and people are now talking about it, so. As people look at Ghost of Tsushima, and they say that is a very well-researched game when it comes to Japanese history and culture, as yeah. opposed to Assassin's Creed Shadows, where mm -hmm. Ubisoft did not do such a good job at their research. Yeah. However, a lot of people are concerned about this game, not because of any concerns about gameplay or what have you. They're concerned about the people involved with this project, whether it's some of the developers, but mainly the choice of the actress behind the presumed main protagonist of this upcoming release and as a result of that a former sony chairman has said well if yeah. you don't like ghost of yote then don't buy it the strategy we have seen blow up no. in the faces of people in the past now before oh we get into that God. instead of that logic you should buy this new rev and straub collection with advanced gg we have another bundle with me <laughs> and my wife darling straub who's also a vtuber uh, is this like a g fuel kind of thing no i mean okay i respect the sponsor but guys I'm just gonna say drink water, man. Drink water. We have these new shakers as well as new energy oh, flavor jars. That's good. That's, that's good. The same people are questioning the choice of the actress behind the protagonist, Atsu. Her name is Erica Ishii. Right mm. now, a lot of people are combing through her social media accounts, in particular her Twitter account, and they're finding a lot of very political and divisive tweets that are really rubbing them the wrong way. Now, yeah. a lot of false flaggers are trying to basically dismiss the concerns about her as people just being angry about a female protagonist in this game. You can see that. No, it, it's true. But it's very few people. That's not the issue, though. You know, we had games like Tomb Raider in the past, and yeah, like, people love it. Suckers love it. It's not because of a female character. Trust me, man, females exist in real life. That's not what woke is, okay? But it's like the, the po political stance, the... I mean, it's your opinion, your opinion, right? Like, whatever. But she's an actress in the project, and the stuff that she's saying is, like, crazy, right? And, and then you got Sony's former guy saying that, hey, don't like it, don't buy it, right? So there's that, and... Uh, you know, uh, people are just fed up with all of that crap going down in video games for the last how many years now? Yeah, exactly, right? So it, it's like multitudes, a multitude of things. Now, I'll be the first to say, 
the game does look very good uh from the trailer so far i'm not sure if it's gonna be that good when it comes out like that's a different debate that's a different <laughs> argument altogether right but if the game comes out and it's really good well researched and it's a real sequel a genuine good sequel to ghost of tsushima it's gonna be fine right you feel what i'm saying right if her acting work as an actress is good and uh, all that is good and the game is uh good and it's not spreading an agenda that's perfectly fine i don't care what the actress does in her own life right yeah uh, that's where i'm at but if the game is spreading agenda and if it's an inferior product in comparison to ghost of tsushima their last game that's what i'm comparing it to i'm not gonna compare it to the the captain the king bbc samurai situation from assassin's creed shadows right yeah, I'm gonna compare it to their own game. Sucker Punch made Ghost of Tsushima prior, so I'm gonna compare it to that. I guess the homie James agreed. Thank you for subscribing. If you're brand new, welcome on in, man. Thank you for subscribing. Sheesh, look at that, man. You're watching God of War 3 gameplay, man. This is a legendary game, bro. I love this game. This has to be my favorite God of War games from all the, 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 the series. I love all of them. God of War Ragnarok was the least favorite, but God of War 2018, very good as well. But all of the games have been very good. But God of War 3... Damn, man, this game is amazing. I, yeah, God of War 1. I wish we would get a game set right after God of War 3 with the young Kratos when, you know, like, back in the days, bro, like, games were just... I don't know, man. Games were really, really fun to play, though. God of War 2018 is amazing, don't get me wrong, but I, I miss games like that, too. Like, I miss games like this, too, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? L let me know in the comments if you played some of these games. Like the video if you love, like, games like that, too this shill account culture crave saying no doubt in response to a comment saying let me guess the needs to touch grass community are mad it's a woman and keep in mind this is the same person who helped promote the japanese historian yu hirayama and his claims that yasuke in assassin's creed shadows is a actual samurai in real life as well and of course they are citing someone who is a member of the japanese communist party who doesn't believe in empirical evidence to support claims about japanese history which is absolutely insane but these are the real concerns <clears throat> this is what people are talking about when they're focusing on erika ishii so you can see her tweets very political very divisive and the type of stuff people don't want to see a whole lot of virtue signaling her saying various political things even promoting the american democratic party and uh, sharing a tweet and signal boosting a tweet that is encouraging people to vote and raise funds for Kamala Harris and all these other things. You know an activist when you see it, and this raises a lot of red flags for people when it comes. Yo, I, I'm in Canada, okay? Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I do apologize on the, uh, on Sweet Baby Ang behalf. I apologize on Ubisoft behalf. It was not like that when I got here, okay? <laughs> it was not. Listen, man. That's all I can do, man. I can just apologize, man. Oh, that might be too much for YouTube, though. Because nowadays every, everything is sensitive, right? But I miss games like that, man. I miss God of War when it used to be this crazy and hectic, though. So, yeah, just had to skip gameplay because, yeah, I'll be on YouTube, guys. Uh, tough love, man. Tough love. I, I know this game plays on YouTube as well, but, see, like, yeah, it, the video can get hit with the demonetization and all that, right? But, but here's the thing, man. I'm in Canada. If you're in the U.S., who are you voting for, man? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> let me know where you guys at. I want to I want to see that comes to a video game something that's supposed to be entertainment and you have someone who is mixing their personal opinions and political opinions with their business account and that's the result you get right here and this screenshot's been floating around with some of her greatest hits. Let's read through it. So now personally, I don't care who she votes for or who she promotes. I don't care about it. I, I don't but of course like people do maybe you watching you also don't care. You're just like me as well, right? but a lot of people do and i cannot blame them i mean yeah it's but but the, the fact here is that she is a massive she's the lead in the game right and knowing what's going down in the video games industry for the last few months the last few years right and then you got an ex former former sony boss saying hey don't like it don't buy it right and there's like a whole lot of virtue signaling happening uh based off of what we have been seeing and then you hear this and you see like what the actress is putting on her account then of course people are gonna be like damn bro like like hey man i just want to play a game just want to have fun just want to escape the just want to escape i just want to enjoy a game i just want to be immersed into a story i don't want to think about none of that crap right because 
yeah, there's a whole lot of crap in real life. So I, I understand. I, I get it, though. I get it why people are suspect and questioning it. I think you should always question. But okay, damn, right? Like people are now starting to question a lot more than usual. Hey, that's uh, that's good. That's uh, that's good. But so this first one says also can't help but notice the article focused mostly on the mechanics of our game and not which Pokemon is most effable, which we spent far more time on in that episode. But fine, I guess I'll be the one to just keep up, keep us focused up on the important Brad. questions. So this is the type of stuff, uh, a, a statement here that a lot of games journalists would cancel you for normally. But because she says it, it's stunning and brave. Here's another one saying abolish the. Uh, and yeah, like I also want to point out that I'm brown. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, guys, come on, man. Like, you're gonna try and cancel a brown man like me? Damn, man. Y'all suckers are demonic, bro. Like, uh, I'm sarcastic, by the way, guys. But, like, but still, I, I'm brown. Like, I'm Pakistani. I'm South Asian, okay? I'm considered brown by these suckers out here, okay? So, like, yeah, I'm gonna use that, man. Just like these suckers be using that. They are always like, hey, man, uh, I'm this, I'm that. I, I, you can never cancel me. So, I'm just saying, man, I'm a brown man. Please don't cancel me. I'm a brown man. You know, I'm a brown man. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't cancel me for that, bruh. I'm brown, man. If you cancel me, man, you're demonic. You're demonic. Police. It is unconscionable to allow this racist insta- Oh, crap. So she's like, defund the police as well? If Here's another one saying, abolish the police. It Damn. is unconscionable to allow this racist institution that terrorizes the citizens they are sworn to protect. Abolish the police. So I know out there there's some law enforcement watching this video. Just know, according to her, you're not welcome in her spaces. And any family members you have who are in law enforcement, you are not welcome in her space because you are part of a racist institution that she wishes will be completely abolished. Here's another one uh, talking about Trump supporters. Now, like, listen, man, of course there are some cops that are bad, right? Like, yes, but it doesn't mean that all the cops are bad. Like, come on now, what are we talking about? There are so many cops that have put their life... Uh, I would say mostly all of them do put their life on the line, but so many of them lost their lives protecting, right? So, like, yeah, defund the police, man, it's gonna be chaos. You, you don't want the law there, there's gonna be chaos. Now, I do get it, though, the government and the laws they're not right all the times but like damn man like damn basically implying that they're racists homophobes and fascists and down here's my favorite tweet this is uh this is just chef's kiss uh she says drunk guy got up in my space at the arcade and asked are you single while i was playing a rhythm game i shouted dude if you bother me while i'm playing a game i will kick your effing ass as my girlfriend and a femme fatale walked up to flank me haven't seen Bruh. him since and then all the patrons of the arcade stood up and applauded. What a ridiculous tweet right there. But here's another one she made back in February of 2023. And based on the timing of this, it seems like she was joining in on the discourse involving Hogwarts Legacy, where she is virtue signaling here, saying she's been a fan of uh, Harry Potter for her whole life and done all these things. But suddenly, just then, when everyone was canceling Hogwarts Legacy and people playing it, she just then realized that J.K. Rowling is this very controversial person. She's shocked to discover all these claims she's making is now disavowing her and seemingly no. joining in on the Hogwarts legacy. Yo, first of all, I gotta say this and I, yeah, I always loved um, Harry Potter though. I always loved Harry Potter, JK Rowling, shout out to JK Rowling. She made massive art, you know? And recently I'm hearing this, I, I don't know the actress name right now from the top of my head, but you know, Miss McGonagall, uh, she, her, uh, she passed away, like the actress that played the role of Miss McGonagall uh, in the Harry Potter, she passed away, so RIP to her. But Harry Potter is like such a wonderful franchise, such a such an amazing. And Hogwarts Legacy was a really good game. I loved everything about it except for the story. I feel like that the story was weak. It's not that the story was like trash or anything, but it was weak. You know, it could have been better. And they already have confirmed that there will be Hogwarts Legacy uh, two, right? Like they're working on it. And I really hope they get Quidditch this time, <laughs> and maybe even multiplayer. Oh yeah, multiplayer can be amazing in Hogwarts Legacy, but. Uh, and another thing is that Hogwarts Legacy is, some, is a game that they tried to cancel really, really badly and they failed. And another thing is that in Hogwarts Legacy, they had a, a trans person in the game. And they still were like, hey, that's not enough. I'm like, what are we talking about, bro? You got the representation. You got the representation. I'm brown. And I had no, I, I don't, I feel like they, they had some brown people, or, but like not a man. I don't think they had a brown man. Though. <laughs> See, like it never stops there. See, it would never stop. I'm just saying that to give you an example. It would never stop. Yes, there was a black person. There was a brown chick, but there was no brown man. See, it never stops, bro. What the hell? Just stay true to the material. Just make a good game, a good movie, good project without the the constant 
part of like hey we gotta include this we gotta include that diversity is good but forced diversity is the problem man like damn forced diversity is a problem because like this is what you're thinking about constantly and then the project suffers you're not thinking about the project as is you're not thinking about the story per se you're thinking about all of this and that to compromise it the compromise the good parts about it uh thank you for subscribing appreciate it gang gang brother welcome on in. harassment campaign that we have covered many times on this channel now i also think it's important to note and something very funny here that she is also uh playing the role of rook in dragon age the veil guard and of course like this whole woke narrative like what a fit this is the same game we talked about a few days ago and the designs coming out of this yeah. are absolutely ridiculous like mosquito bites there okay so ghost of tampon and uh, dragon Drag Queen Age, the mosquito bites, okay. Listen, the character creation screen here. But anyway, she's adopted Dang. a very interesting... Memeology 101 got banned? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He got blocked, I should say? Memeology 101? I don't know the guy, but, like, I'm saying it because, like, I'm assuming this guy would just post memes, right? Bruh. Damn. Well, let's just say strategy to deal... Okay, so he's posting like other people getting ba ba uh, blocked, not him. Okay, my With bad. criticism and potential criticism. So a lot of people, I'm seeing dozens upon dozens of people reporting that they have been blocked by Ishii's official accounts, including people who never interact with her. They've never interacted with her page or anything she's associated right. with, but she is preemptively blocking people, including YouTubers and other people who might be critical of her or the game she's working on, which is a very bad strategy. If I'm going to give some advice here, I yeah. think that's a really bad strategy. It shows we- You get blocked! You get blocked if you try to give me advice. I'm strong, I'm independent, I'm dad's little princess. You cannot give me advice. Men are wrong, men are menace to society. But sadly, my dad was a man, so tee -hee. Weakness, it shows that you don't want to hear any criticism and you're basically ducking people who might criticize you. It looks yeah, really, crazy, crazy. quite frankly, cowardly. You're kind of, especially the preemptive aspect, not just blocking people who are being critical, but preemptively blocking people might be an issue. That is not a very good strategy for someone like this who's trying to gain goodwill for the game she's working on. On top of it, of course, the usual suspects are taking advantage of moments like this saying, wouldn't it be nice if this made incels die? Very interesting, the, uh, the very, uh, the normal people strike once again. But here's another interaction that would be important. So you see, Mighty Keith. Yo, Mighty Keith, like, damn, man. Mighty Keith always do that, bro. Like, damn, Mighty Keith. Okay, so what Okay, so what did Intimion say? Maybe Mighty Keith was right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Mighty Keith is right this time. I, I doubt it, but let's see what Endymion said. Keith, once again, uh, shilling for this sort of a game. Uh, posting this screenshot where basically this user's talking about the fact that there is a Japanese woman samurai warrior in this game. And he's sick of the forced girl boss. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So he's saying that... They can't help themselves until every franchise that was built on masculinity is replaced by a woman. I do believe that there are certain franchises that are going to be amazing with females and that are not going to be as good uh, with m like a lead being a male. Right? Absolutely. 110%. But what Endymion is saying is not wrong. We're seeing so many uh, like protagonists, male protagonists being killed or watered down and, and being outright replaced by females. I think, okay, Ghost of Yode as is... If the game is good, if the story is good, if it's, uh, if, like, the Ghost of Tampon situation is real, then, yeah, right? Like, if the, the samurai, the female samurai existed and the, they do her justice, uh, uh because, uh, yeah, she, uh, if that was, because I'm assuming the Ghost of Yoda is based off of a real female samurai that existed all the way back in 1608, if they do her legacy justice, unlike Yasuke by Ubisoft, Ubisoft did not do Yasuke justice, right? They did not, but if they do her justice, then okay, under, that's fine by me, as long as the game is fun. But the point that I, he's trying to make here is that, yeah, the masculinity is getting replaced by women, which is not lie, which is not a lie. Uh, Mighty Keith is like, what an absolute loser. Okay, whatever, but... Narrative, which this isn't really super important. It's more the reply that is important for this video, where you have Sean Layden making this observation in response Dang. saying number one it's a game an entertainment a story a team of creators believes in they want to make this number two it's a game Bruh. if you don't like it don't buy it in fact why not make the game you want yourself damn now who is this individual well Holy. they are a former employee a board member I, I, and i would say this like i'll be honest man the sean Layden era was actually very good uh when he was uh you know i guess in office is, is that how you would say <laughs> probably not right but you know what i mean right when he was in office when he was at playstation his era was good i believe he was like the the primary guy during like the the, the playstation 3 uh 
uh, era, right, of video games. And we had some of the best games during Xbox 360 and PS3 era. So, yeah, I'm not going to take away that. But we're now seeing the disease getting spread around. Like, man, just, just we, we just want good games, bro. Simple as that. And if Ghost of Yoda is actually a good game, hey, that's going to be amazing. And I hope it's a good game. I really hope it's a good game. I hope there's no, like, politics in it. They're already... Politics are already getting involved with the, with the actresses doing that, right? Like... But I hope in the game there is none, and I, I hope it's a good game. Or they can have politics in the game, but, but for example, right, for example, the game is set in Japan, 1608. So surely around that time, there were certain politics that existed in real life. So yes, have those in the game, because that's the time period, and that's whatever was real at that time, you have that in the game. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, right? Exactly, so you have those types of politics and but not like modern day politics that did not exist back then yeah man these suckers are crazy bro at sony and playstation and there's someone who ironically now works with tencent games which is a very strong competitor of playstation and sony which a lot of people are looking at this tweet and it's very divisive as always with all these tweets people are saying either number one they are trying to take up for sony and defend the former company he used to work with or number two, this is like a 5D chess move where he's trying to basically actively sabotage his old company in the benefit of Tencent by making this tweet because there's a lot of things here that are wrong. So let's start with the first claim. It's a game, it's entertainment, a story. A okay, I didn't think like that because I didn't know. Like the piece was missing. I didn't know he was working at Tencent, right? What if that's actually true? I, I mean, of course, conspiracies are always gonna run wild and they always do run wild whenever there's a situation like that. But what if, right? Like, what if he's like, hey, man, he worked in Tencent. Tencent is like, bro, you need to sabotage this. We need to sell our games more than PlayStation. What if that's true? What if that's Team true? of creators believes in, they want to make this. Well, they're making it seem like we just want to make some good gameplay over here at Sony. That's what they're all about. But we know what so Sony's all about these days, and that is DEI stuff. I mean, one of the first things they tell you is about how they're working on social justice initiatives and diversifying the gaming industry is one of their most important goals. So let's return to number two. Yeah, uh -oh. It's a game. If you don't like it, don't buy it. In fact, why not make the game you want yourself? Which is always ridiculous. Uh, number one, the if you don't... The, the consumer, bro, like gamers and the consumer, they are there to buy your product. They're not there to make your product. Unless uh, a person that is a consumer happens to also be uh, passionate and, and he's pursuing, he or she pursuing the, the job, right? Like to be a game dev, then okay. But... It's you. It's like the same thing, right? Like, imagine you're going to buy a car. The car is not good, so you're like, hey, I'm not gonna buy, right? Uh, I don't like the way this car is, so I'm not gonna buy it. And then they turn around you, hey, man, don't like it, don't buy it. Make your own car, make your own, make your own. Yeah, you see what I mean, right? Like, what the hell, <laughs> what the hell, bro? Don't like it, don't buy it narrative and really dare is something you shouldn't be doing. Ask Concord and other games how that went. People will yeah. follow through. This is a challenge. You are challenging people to not buy the product. Very bad move, okay? Ask, Very bad move. And you shall not receive in this case. People take this as a personal challenge to not buy the game. So again, if I was Sony, I'd be pissed off. This person's tweeting this on their behalf, seemingly. Yep. And on top of that, the whole, why not make the game you want yourself? It's like going to the restaurant, the classic there analogy here. You get a steak that looks absolutely terrible, and they say, well, why don't you just go make your own <laughs> steak if you're going to criticize the cook like this? It's such a, a cop-out excuse. Yeah, don't like my car? Don't like this car? Hey, don't buy it. Make your own car, son. Make your own car. Your but there's right. a lot more here. Whenever we're dealing with situations like this, you got to look at the games journalist and some other factors we'll get into in just a second. So okay. here you have Ash Parrish. We've covered her many times on this channel. She is a journalist at The Verge, former Kotaku, and she says this, Y'all doing all this crying and hollering and screaming over this boring, bland AF man. Really? Referring to the main protagonist of Ghost of Yeah, Sushi. men are wrong. Men are toxic. Men are problematic. Men do not deserve anything. I am strong. I'm independent. I just book a BBL appointment. I have a BBL coming up. And I will get BBL. I will get BBL. I'm strong and independent. Hee <laughs> hee. And people, even on her side, politely say in the replies, Please don't attack another character for elevating another character. Mm. I know Chuds are mad, but Sakai and his also didn't do anything wrong. I actually liked his quiet nobility. Mm. Where Ash replies saying, let's not do this. Let's not frame this as some kind of fandom drama. It's perfectly fine and normal to say, this guy's boring. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you do, do not watch this video. Do not do this, okay? Do not do this. Crazy drama, insane drama, gamers mad, gamers going crazy, beefs going crazy, but do not watch this video. Check out the video on the left, man. Check out the video on the left, and I'll see you right there.